Hey everybody, Kevin Richards from RocketFakeNYC.com here with your vocal tip of this week. Covering versus mixed voice. Uh, there's some, some slightly debate, not too bad, um, on the use of this terminology and kind of what's the difference, if there is a difference, um, is one better than the other? Here we go. Covering basically comes from classical or an opera approach. Covering a sound means to, end, uh, means to add a dark timbre or a darkness to a head voice tone. Therefore, taking the sort of strangliness or shoutiness out of it and making it more, as a term, elegant, a dark timbre. Uh, mixed voice allows you to add, kind of meet in the middle there. It's not so dark, it's not brassy or really bright, um, but it's not overly dark. It's right somewhere in the middle. You're mixing just the right amount of chest resonance to that head voice tone. Covering and mixed voice are essentially the same thing. It's just different terminology for the same result. Covering tends to cover a sound a little too much for my taste. It makes it a little too woofy, too dark for contemporary music. Uh, mixed voice tends to put your voice more in a, in a sort of a middle ground where it's not overly bright, but it's not overly dark. It's like right in the middle. What you're essentially doing is adding chest resonance to a lower head voice note. So it, it gives it a little more power, a little more solidness. It sounds like your chest voice has come up really high. Now, there are two ways to go about this. If we take, say, a G4, make that as a simple head voice tone. Right? Kind of chorally, you know, a little too light for contemporary music. We just cover that. Drop the larynx. It's still kind of light with a dark darkness to it. What we want to do is something more of a mixed voice sound, what I call a compressed sound, which is basically getting the vocal cords to compress a little bit more, thicken up on the edges, and give more of a thicker, fuller, more uh, rounder sound, more of a core, more of a solidness to it. And we do that by adding a uh underneath it, a sort of grunt. Huh, huh, huh. We add that uh, U-H. Uh. So if we did that, it says, huh. a little too low, a little too pulling downward, uh. too little too low larynx for me. What we do though is we add that to the brighter head voice tone. And we get sort of a middle ground. Right? G3 to G4 would sound like this. Yeah, it's got a nice solid tone to it. Carry that compressed sound all the way up to the G4. There's more of a core, more of a solid punch to it. We bring that up to the G sharp. A bit more solidness to it. The A4, A3 to A4. Ah! That note there I started with a little less covering and then I added the cover to it. Made it more of a shouty, belty thing. Ah! That's without that uh underneath it. it. Sounds kind of shouty. And if I add the uh underneath it, ah! it sounds very belty, but I'm actually ah! that sound. solid, more core to it. That lends itself to singing in those kind of ranges, the D to the A, or maybe the B flat, um, with a lot more solidness behind that tone. And it sounds like you're basically belting in chest voice, but it's actually just a really compressed head voice tone. And that lends it to things like um, 
Spread your wings and fly away, fly away, far away. Spread your little wings and fly away, fly away, far away. Pull yourself together, cause you know you should do better. That's because you're a free man. Now, see how solid and a lot it sounded like I was belting my chest voice, but it's actually just compressed head voice tones. Pull yourself together! That's an A4 right there. Pull yourself together, cause you know you should do better. That's because you're a free man. Right there. So, um, in working in your head voice ranges, remember that huh sort of feeling. Make it make that head voice tone more of a fraction, where if you did sort of may, right? May add the huh underneath it. May you get sort of a may over mu. So it's kind of a fraction. It's like may up here and then mu underneath it. Mu. you get solid head voice tones. Till next time, this is Kevin Richards. Be sure to check out rockthestagenyc.com. Sign up for my blog and my newsletter where you'll be privy to all sorts of really cool contests and discounts on my vocal courses and downloads. You get the blog. You get newsletters with cool tips in it. Uh, the blog where you can ask me questions and I'll respond. I post other video tips and exercises that I don't put here on YouTube. Um, I also give lessons right here in New York City, person to person, just you and me. I also give lessons via Skype, uh, broadband with a webcam and a broadband internet connection to anywhere in the world. Uh, so look me up for that as well. Till next time, this is Kevin Richards from Rock the Stage, NYC.com. See ya.